time to open my birthday presents! <laughs> Hello my loves, how are we doing? I hope you're all good. Today we're doing a big birthday unboxing haul. I'm very excited. You guys have sent me some presents it looks like for my Amazon wish list, and my parents have got me a couple books. I've also got a book that's just arrived that I feel like we should unbox now as well that I purchased. So this is just gonna be an unwrapping. We've got a lot over here. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus Christ. Check out the labels. Me. <laughs> I feel very lucky, I'm very thankful, and we're just gonna get into it, but I do have to confess something. Do you have con to confess a sin? <laughs> so, my birthday was last Saturday, it's currently the next Saturday. <laughs> the weekend, I was just actually really busy doing stuff with my family, I kept thinking I was gonna film at the weekend, it just didn't happen, and then Monday I fell ill, and I've been ill all week. I mentioned this in my video on Thursday, and then I managed to get that video up on Thursday, and then I was ill again, like I felt shit again yesterday. And then today I feel like, okay, let's put it together. I've been waiting a whole week to unwrap this. I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting, hoping that I feel better enough to film this video, because I'm so excited to film it. Um, oh, there might be a lot of sniffing, I'm sorry. <laughs> but so yeah it is a week after my birthday but i haven't opened them i haven't peeked i haven't you know i've waited i think we should all be thankful for that <laughs> okay let's just get into it first we have some that are gift wrapped who is this from oh it's from lauren one of my patrons thank you lauren let's see what it is oh my god i always get so nervous opening these i love seeing what you pick though Oh, exciting. Okay, okay, okay. So this is Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. This is a new release. Thank you everyone who gets me a new release because it means I don't have to buy the new releases so that I have more new releases I can read. This is Talia Hibbert's YA debut, which I'm very, very excited for. I just know one of them is, I think, like a social media star and one of them's like a sporty guy i'm pretty sure yeah star football player and i just love tally hibbert tally hibbert's probably my second favorite romance author after ali hazelwood they're the two that i have the most luck with i really like the brown sisters trilogy and so i'm super excited thank you laura this is so exciting oh my god wait we haven't put in i don't know if i'll have put it in yet but we need to run it's a birthday video we need to run the lisa barlow clip of her being like i don't want anyone to make a big deal of my birthday and then going it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And then I think this came in the same package, if I remember correctly. This is from Lauren as well. Yes, thank you, Lauren. Lauren is the sweetest. Let's see what else Lauren picked. Oh, sometimes I find these Amazon wraps really hard to get into. It's like beyond my capabilities. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay, we have got Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. I just know this is like cozy fantasy. The girlies have been grouping this in with the cozy fantasy books and I need more cozy fantasy in my life. I think this is kind of romance, so it's very short arms. <laughs> it's difficult to find a husband in Regency England when you are a young lady with only half a soul. <laughs> Who's excited? Regency England, I love Jade Austen, Regency, like I do, here's the thing, right? <laughs> I, as a kid, was super into history. Like I loved Victorians, Tudors, Regency, you know? And as an adult, I, I just want you to like create the feeling, the feeling that you get as a kid, like, watching Pride and Prejudice or like going, I don't know if anyone else had this, but like <laughs> going to like a historical, like where they reenact history or whatever. Like I want you to give me that magical feeling that being transported to another time can do. And I feel like this is gonna do it, but fantasy, oh, I'm very excited. Thank you, Lauren. I'm gonna do all the ones sent by you guys first and then we'll get, there's two that my parents have got me. So, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What is this, what is this? This is one that's been on there for a long time. Who is this from? Shanice, happy birthday. Make this a five star read for me as well. Thank you, Shanice. Okay, so this is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. <gasps> I've been so excited. This is long, but this is mixed media, baby. Let me hear you say it. <laughs> mixed media, baby. I love mixed media. So I have been so excited to read this. This has been recommended to me. A oh my God. I've never looked inside this. I am so excited. I feel like this is going to give me like a true crime story, like that kind of vibe. I'm always looking for more mixed media, particularly like mystery thrillers. So it's about a death that was ruled as uh, someone taking their own life, but an investigative journalist suspects otherwise and we're looking into it. Oh my god, I am so... <laughs> 
I'm so excited. Thank you, Shanice. That is, I, this is, I love when I get a book as well that has been on my T, my, um, like, wish list for a long time. And I'm like, oh, finally, finally, you're in my hands. <laughs> Next, we have a very little, little parcel. I wonder what this could be. Oh, who is this from? Louise. Thank you, Louise. Happy birthday. Your YouTube channel is one of my absolute favorites, and I always look forward to your videos. Heard so many good things about this book and can't wait to read it myself. So, we have got In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. I've never read anything by this author. I think this is the one. I get confused between <laughs> this synopsis for In the Dream House and this. No, sorry, this is In the Dream House. <laughs> Boys and other parties and this. But I think this is the one that is almost a memoir about a abusive relationship that she was in with another woman. And I've just heard a lot of wonderful things about this. This is like, I think, one of the highest rated books to ever exist. Um, I've just heard such great things. So I'm nervous to read this because I think this is another memoir that's obviously going to be very heavy hitting. But I have literally, it's one of those books I've never heard a bad thing about. So thank you so much, Louise. I have heard such good things. I cannot wait to read this. Again, you guys are giving me like a lot of short books. I feel like you're aiding me. I feel like I get through my short books quickly because I'm like, yeah, let's just read a short book. So you're replenishing my stack. Next, oh, I need to go get some scissors. We've got a big box here I wonder oh my god okay okay we're in oh my god oh my god there's a lot there's a lot here there's a lot here so this box is from Melanie thank you so much Melanie okay everyone calm down <laughs> calm down calm down so the first night, happy birthday, Megan. Thank you so much for your content. I wish you the best birthday. These are three books I also want to read this year. Okay, we've got two in here. So another package somewhere is Melanie. First, oh my gosh, I am very excited for this. We have got The Enigma of Room 622 by Joel Dicker. I have heard such wonderful things about this. I did not realize how long it was. I said, like, oh my God, you guys are giving me short books and then this appeared. <laughs> so we're at this hotel and there is no room 622 because of an unsolved murder that happened. I've heard this is a very like complex, twisty mystery. I love, I just love the cover. Like I just think this is gonna elicit a feeling. I'm, I'm interested in reading more mystery set at hotels. I feel like it's a recent trend. I feel like some do it better than others. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be a very complex, it reminds me almost, I've heard from people speak about it, of like Stuart Turton's mysteries, where they're clever, they're intense, they're complex, they're like an onion that you have to peel apart. So thank you so much, Melanie. I'm very, 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 very excited for this. That is a, a release, I think this was a last year release, that I really wanted. And it's pitched as fans of Ruth Ware and Lucy Foley. And then we have got another book. Oh my God, I'm very excited for this one. I've heard some really good things about this recently. So we've got Keeper of Enchanted Rooms by Charlie N. Holmberg. This is another cozy fantasy, okay? It's another cozy fantasy. I'm trying to stock up on cozy fantasies because there's not a lot of them out there. Uh, I honestly don't know much about the book. <laughs> Magic has made itself at home. We're Rhode Island, 1846. It's about a home being trapped in this house. I'm very excited. I mean, look at the cover. Cozy fantasy babes. I've just fallen in love with cozy fantasy and I want 20 more. We have three more packages from you guys. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, this is another one from Shanice. Another five star read, House of Hollow. A lot of people tell me I'm gonna love House of Hollow. <laughs> I've almost bought this book so many times I've been in Waterstones. Um, so many people have told me that I'm gonna love this. I think it's about these sisters who disappeared, reappeared a month later with no memory of what happened, and then one of the sisters goes missing again. I think it's weird body horror, that kind of thing. A lot of people have pitched this as similar to Wilder Girls, so I'm very intrigued. Fairy tale, haunted, weird, Icky, oh, I'm very, I'm very, 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 very excited. We're so excited to be here, seriously, but I, this is the dream. This is one of the books that, like, people in the comments are like, how haven't you got that yet? How have you not read that yet? Like, how have you not done that yet? So, thank you so much, Shanice! This is another book from Melanie. Oh! I can't believe it. This is one of the books I've wanted the most. Okay, Slewfoot by Brown. <laughs> I have heard so many good things about this. I feel like everyone who reads this loves it. Oh my God, no. There's like pictures in the middle. Oh, the note is flying. <gasps> Connecticut, 1666. An ancient spirit awakens in a dark wood. Oh. <laughs> 
a lot of my friends have read this the last year and loved it and I just feel like it's my kind of thing like weird horror spooky historical oh I'm just thank you so much I'm so this is one of the books I wanted the most I'm gonna be honest <laughs> oh my god I'm so happy <sighs> witchcraft fairy tale devilry you guys are so weird oh my god you guys are so weird I know everything is weird <gasps> I'm so lucky. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Okay, final closing time. Who is this from? Oh, it's another big one. It's another big one. Sarah. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Sarah. Okay, we have got a book I've heard a lot of good things about. We have got The Skeleton Key by Erin Kelly. I know that we're, this is kind of about like a book that was published 50 years ago and there's like a treasure map to do with it. I think it's about like these families meeting, tension between them, spooky, ooky, gothic. I'm really excited. I've heard a lot of good things about this. A lot of my patrons have been speaking about it. And another book I've almost bought many times in Waterstone. So I'm very, you guys have given me like long books or short books. Not many middle books. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sarah. That is so kind. Okay, wow, I feel so lucky. Okay, so finally, we've got three books left. Two, look at the, <laughs> look at the book wrapping paper my dad got me. And um, we have three books left, two for my parents. And then this is actually one that I bought myself from Fairy Loot. This is the sequel to Daughter of the Moon Goddess and I wanted the matching Fairy Loot edition. So I thought, let's just open it together now. Why not? Oh my God. <laughs> Heart of the Sun Warrior. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fairy Lou can't miss. Look at the art. <gasps> oh, I haven't read Daughter of the Moon Goddess yet, but I love my Fairy Lou edition of that so much that I knew I had to get the matching edition. <gasps> I love it. But she's beautiful. beautiful. Right. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> So now I have the whole duology. I have to read it ASAP. Look at the like spine. <gasps> ah! Okay. <laughs> and finally, two books from my parents. Let's see what they got. Oh, yay. Okay. We've got Before the Coffee Gets Cold, Tales from the Cafe by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. Now I have this whole series. Another one that I can finish. This is really short. This is 175 pages, 190 pages. <gasps> So yeah, this is about a cafe where um, you can time travel within the cafe if you drink the coffee there, but you have to come back to the real world, our timeline, uh, before the coffee gets cold. Otherwise, something bad may happen. And I have the third one, so now I have the second one and I can read them all in one go. Aren't we happy? <laughs> well, I've read the first one, it's there somewhere. And then let's see the final book that my parents got me. Oh, okay, I know my mum picked this. So we've got Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola. My mum picked this because it's a romance. And <laughs> my mum is only reading romances at the moment. She just wants happy books and I'm like, well, <laughs> she used to read all my thrillers and mysteries. Anyways, I've heard so many good things about this. I love following Bolu on Twitter. I followed her for like many, many, <laughs> a long time. It feels like one of my favorite people to see tweets from. And I've heard so many good things about this romance. I feel like it's my kind of romance. I have to be selective with the romance books that I pick up. And yeah, I've heard so many good things about this. I know Kayla said it was her favorite romance of the year. And I'm always up for a good romance if it's one that I'll enjoy. I feel like I'm slowly, like, I don't want romance to ever be one of the genres I read the most of. But like, when I hear about one that interests me, I know I have to get it. Because for it to interest me, it means it's special. <laughs> so good pick, mum. She will read it before me. That's why she got it. <laughs> So there we have it. That is my birthday book haul. Thank you so much to anyone who gifted me anything. I am so thankful. It's just very, very kind of you. So thank you so much to anyone who gifted me a book. Thank you to my parents <laughs> for gifting me books. Um, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. What a wild ride. <laughs> oh, unwrapping books always gets me overexcited. <laughs> If you got to the end, comment any like birthday related emoji, balloons, party poppers, anything like that, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.